All right, guys, so our climber is gonna approach the ladder. Um, this would apply to any kind of structure, uh, but we're gonna have ladders to play with, so this is what we're gonna work with uh, today as well as on Wednesday. So our climber approaches the ladder and sets his anchor point nice and high. All right, so notice how he grabs the rung and the beam. Uh, that's always preferable in case the, the, the rung fails. We've got a secondary anchor point just below it. Um, notice how the hook is offset just a little bit. This is within our margin of error. Uh, this is acceptable. What we don't want is we don't want the hook um, side loaded just that drastically. All right, so he starts to climb. And you see almost immediately, he, his hook is at the same level as his back D-ring. So he grabs his second hook and he's gonna set it nice and high. All right, so then he climbs. Notice he leaves the bottom hook. He's gonna, now he's at the same level. He grabs the bottom hook and anchors it nice and high. All right, so he's gonna climb up and he realizes this is where he needs to go to work. So he's gonna set the other anchor, the other hook up nice and high also. Now, he's able to do this because he has a common shock absorber. So both legs go into one shock pack. If he were to have a different style that had two independent legs, we'd want those hooks at two different levels. We wouldn't want them at the same level. All right, so he's gonna use his positioning device to position off to the ladder so that he can work with his hands. Now, the first technique we're gonna show, he's gonna rig around both beams of the ladder. So he goes around both beams, connects the device back into his other side D-ring, and now he can lean back into the rope. But you see it's really long and he's gonna be sitting really far off that ladder. So the climber can simply grab the uh, loose end of the rope and he pulls it towards his anchor, and he tightens it. Now this one, is a simple design that basically just uses a rope grab. The ones that we have on Rescue 3 are actually, they actually use Grigri's. So the benefit is that um, with the Grigri, you can actually lower or adjust the system while it's under tension. With this system, the climber can't do that. He actually has to lean forward and then open up the grab, loosen up the rope, and then he can sit back into the system. So the benefit of the Gree Gree is he can do all of that while it's under load, okay? So the benefit of this is that now he can turn left and right in order to perform the rescue. He can actually turn his body all the way uh, so that he, he can face the victim um, or uh, do the rigging as he needs, all right? If this doesn't work, the problem with this type of setup is that he's uh, run his device around both beams. In this case, we've got a piece of structural seal right here that will catch him. In the event that he were to fall, and this has already got him, but if this isn't here, if he was rigged right below it, he would have to slide all the way down to this support before it would catch him. So another option would be to rig around the rung of the ladder. So this is another option, this is a choice for you depending on how comfortable you are. Now, if he steps up one rung without disconnecting his system, you see how much farther out he's sitting and it's gonna put a lot more pressure on his hips. So it's always more comfortable to be rigged higher than it is to be rigged in line with your hips. All right, so once he's done with his work, he's going to step into the ladder He's gonna disconnect his positioner and he's gonna 100% back down.
Now, as you can see, when he goes to climb, right now, Jesse's a little bit higher than his back D-ring. It's okay because that shock absorber is actually designed for more than a six foot free fall. All right? As he climbs down, he keeps climbing. Once he gets to the point where he can't reach the top one anymore, he's gonna reach up and grab the top one and then set it down nice and low. Basically just reversing the process all the way back down. Obviously the ladder that's at uh, the Performing Arts Center is much longer. You guys will get a little bit more opportunity to practice this. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, Jesse.